In a population of over 1.2 billion people of diverse cultures and traditions, you should know the diversity of what they eat is going to be absolutely spectacular. Africans make really mouth-watering and healthy dishes. However, these are a few dishes peculiar to Africans that might be a little uncomfortable to the Western world, but is culture to Africans. Come with me. The first uncommon delicacy in Africa you should dare to try is the grasshoppers eaten by Ugandans. These leaping insects are known as Nsenen in Uganda and are traditionally roasted or fried before being seasoned. If you want to try it, you will need a net or a bucket and tin device to capture them. They are most common in April, May and November. To prepare them, the wings and legs are removed while the insects are still alive before they are tossed into a pan to fry. When cooked, they make their own oil. Season with salt, pepper or your favorite seasonings and serve. If removing appendages while they are still alive seems harsh, freeze them for 40 minutes first or remove their hair. This may be weird to you if this is the first time you're hearing about it but if Ugandans are watching this video they are definitely celebrating. The second uncommon delicacy in Africa you should dare to try is blood. Oh hey! Don't panic, it is no horror movie. We are not talking about human blood, it is cattle blood that has been consumed by the people of Kenya and Tanzania. The Maasai are a semi-nomadic ethnic group that live in southern Kenya and northern Tanzania. On significant events like a girl's wedding, a baby's birth and a child's circumcision, they drink cow blood. Elderly people who are intoxicated are also given it to help them recover from hangovers. The majority of the Maasai people's cultural food in Kenya and Tanzania comes from their livestock. Although they rarely consume meat, they do consume milk and blood that is obtained by shooting an arrow through the loose flesh on the cow's neck. How mind-blowing, right? We should visit Kenya or Tanzania soon. The third and common delicacy in Africa you should dare to try is the ostrich egg omelette eaten by South Africans. How large do you want your egg omelette? The ostrich egg is said to be the equivalent of 24 normal eggs. Imagine how really big this omelette is going to be. While eating ostrich eggs is not very practical, it is said to be more healthier than regular eggs. South Africans enjoy the benefits of bigger and healthier omelettes made out of ostrich eggs. I definitely want to try this one out. The fourth uncommon delicacy in Africa that you should dare to try is the giant bullfrog eaten in Namibia. While frogs' legs may be considered a delicacy in Europe, in this region of the world and with this specific frog, they consume the entire animal. However, timing is very crucial when consuming this frog and all hinges on when they meet. The amount of toxins in the skin can result to kidney failure, a burning feeling when urinating and even death if improperly prepared or consumed before it is ripe. If you're European, this should not be uncommon to you. However, when you come to Africa, you should definitely try this one. Fifth uncommon delicacy in Africa that you should dare to try is the sting bugs eaten in South Africa. The sting bugs of South Africa are a delicacy of the Benda people of Limpopo and for the Mapulana people of Mpumalanga. Before cooking, the bugs are decapitated and pressed to remove the odor producing gland. South Africans typically boil bugs after the gland has been emptied before sun drying and eating them as snacks. These little creatures are healthy because they contain a lot of vitamin B. Some claim that they taste like a combination of iodine and cinnamon. But guess who will be the judge to that? You try them out and let us know what you think of it. The sixth uncommon delicacy in Africa that you should dare to try is the Mopane worm which is eaten in South Africa and Zambia. The Mopane worm which has its origins in southeastern Africa between Zimbabwe and South Africa is a rare treat that tastes best when it is fried, dried or roasted. Despite what its name suggests, it is a caterpillar and a member of the family of Emperor moths. It may be found in Mopane trees which are also its usual food source. For many years, the Songa, Venda and Pedi people relied primarily on the Mopane worm itself as a source of protein. The Mopane worm, which has been compared to barbecue chicken, 
and has around 60% protein, is a simple to catch and quick supper. The most typical method for preparing this delicacy involves cleaning the worms, boiling them approximately 10 minutes to swell them up, and then salting and baking them for 15 minutes. That's so easy to make, right? Well, when next you're in South Africa or Zambia, ensure that you eat some pain worms. The seventh uncommon delicacy in Africa you should get to try is the pastela eaten by Moroccans. Pastela is a traditional Moroccan meal that has been a favorite for a long time. This meal, an almond and a bread pie, may be prepared with a variety of breads. However, the breed that gives this dish its distinctive flavor is the squab. The common domestic pigeon that is under 4 weeks old is called the squab. The dish is a fusion of several civilizations, primarily the Arabian Empire and Indonesia. In the frying pan, the squab is cooked along with a variety of additional ingredients, including onion, garlic, ginger, cinnamon, almonds and coriander. The squab's meat and vegetable combination is then cooked in thin bread and baked for 20 minutes after everything has finished cooking and is ready. Squab might be difficult to find these days, thus chicken or quail are frequently used in its place. Let us have some pastilla when next we are in Morocco. The eighth uncommon delicacy in Africa you should dare to try is the chitum, eaten by Ivorian. A mid-afternoon snack from the Ivory Coast, the chitum is mostly consumed in Western Africa. A little black beetle is collected, gutted and decapitated and fried. Other ways to eat chitum include baking it rather than frying it, but only if it has been gutted. Some people say it tastes better than grasshoppers and bacon, and others prefer grasshoppers and locusts to eat. Which is beautiful really because it shows the difference in our taste buds. You will never know which is better if you never try them out. I hope you do and then pick a side. The ninth uncommon delicacy in Africa you should dare to try is the Terra Sega eaten by Ethiopians. Well, this is literally raw meat. Oh yes, your surprise is really justified. I was really shocked at this discovery as well. And I wonder how really strong their teeth could be. Ethiopia frequently serves this meal. Terasega is a traditional dish that was created by soldiers who opted to consume the meat raw out of concern that cooking it might alert their foes to their position. Raw pork strips are served with hot spice mixture as the main course. It is frequently consumed with the national bread of Ethiopia, injera. I know the imagination of that can be really weird. Bread and raw meat. Well, that is beautiful culture of the Ethiopian. Not forgetting that food is also culture, Africa's culture is as mind-blowing as it is amazing. These delicacies may be strange and weird, but because it is culture to Africans, they wear it like a crown. Let me know in the comments which of these delicacies do you find most weird and which are you eager to try. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Africa. Do well to subscribe, like, engage, and share with your loved ones. See you next time. Bye-bye.